Hey, it's me again. Uh, so I'm back with uh, another video to do a review of the Braun Series 9 wet dry razor, uh, but doing a wet shave this time. So the last one I did was a dry shave, and uh, so now I've got uh, three days of beard growth. And so I'm going to be comparing the Braun Series 9 razor to this 10 year old razor that I've been using for. Well, 10 years. Um, the Just as a, a follow-up to the, the dry shave that I did, uh, I actually I didn't get any irritation from the new razor, which is to me pretty surprising. Um, but what I did use is, uh, is this uh, aftershave, um, this cream moisturizer. I've gone through a few, and this one, honestly, you put it on the, the day of your shave. Maybe if you do another shower, you do it after that one too. And it, it smells it smells nice, but it also just decreases any kind of redness and, and sensitivity. So uh, I got a little bit here, but that's, that's just normal for me. So uh, pick that up if, uh, if you uh, want to try it. So I'm just going to dive into this, doing this wet shave, comparing the two razors, and uh, and then just do do my last review of the the product itself. Okay. So here's the razor, so you flip it over to the how do you do that? Flip it down to the wet side. So now it's it's actually locked into a certain spot. And I'll do the same side as, as last time too. All right, so that's one side done. So now I'm gonna use the uh, the old razor for the other one. And uh, I mean, I spent about enough time to get one side of my face. So uh, after I'm done with this one, then I'll rinse off both sides and then we'll do a comparison. That's about that. All right, so I'm just gonna wash my face off now, and then we'll see. All right, so this is the bronze side, and this is the old uh, Phillips razor side. Uh, as far as just feeling the difference, uh, the bronze side is a closer shave. Like I can actually not feel any hairs, uh, any stubble at all on my cheek. So the bronze is, is a closer shave in that regard. It's also closer on my upper lip, and the the dry shave, I noticed that it was hard to get in there. 
Um, I, I didn't make my skin taut uh, on this one. I should probably should have. But it, nonetheless, it's actually uh, closer here as well. So the neck. Okay, so the, the neck actually is closer too. Um, I wasn't I wasn't sure about that, but before I put the phone down and, and made my neck taut, there was more stubble on the bronze side compared to this rotating razor. Um, so it does it does require. I mean, who is shaving with with only one hand with a phone, right? So this is not normal to be doing it like this. So you usually have a free hand to, to help you shave. Uh, and it does seem like this brawn razor, it's not like it requires it, but if you want the closest shave and if you, if you want the, you know, the best shave with the razor, you, you really do need to be keeping your skin taut, especially on your neck um, and on your upper lip. The, the cheek, not so much. Um, but and I'll also notice that the, the, the rotating razor, it does get into the, the creases a little bit easier. And so you don't need to, you don't need to do the, the neck, uh, the tightening of the neck. Um, but even after I did have the neck tightened, uh, there's still a few that weren't, that weren't caught on the bronze side. So it, it was just a matter of changing the, the angle, uh, the direction of it. And then I did get that. Um, but, but overall, uh, there is a noticeable difference of the bronze side being a better shave than than my old razor. Uh, what I want to do, so I got a haircut the other day. What I want to do is uh, is try out um, this this uh, beard sideburn trimmer because uh, the the hairstylist didn't do a clean cut. Uh, so I want to see if how this thing works. I'm not sure if I should be doing this when it's wet or not, but give it a try. I don't know if that works. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> One of the reasons is because if you when, you when you see this thing, if it, for one, if you have longer hair, so not a, most guys aren't gonna have longer hair, but for me, I, I do, uh, especially if it falls down a little bit more than it currently is. And when you've got this this thing right up in there, you have all these blades that might actually get in your hair, which not only would hurt, but would kind of screw up your hairstyle. Um, I would say that this particular sideburn thing, it, it works, but I don't know if you can see, I, I can't really see the phone right now, but it, 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 it kind of works and you'd have to then use the, the, the blade to, to, to get up there again. But um, I would say that this is probably not the best functionality of this whole razor in general. So overall, uh, Let's show this thing again. Overall, what do I what do I think of the Braun Razor? I think the design, um, the actual design of it is fantastic. Uh, you're really not going to do much better. The feel of it is fantastic. Um, when it turns on, it's very powerful. It does have the wet and dry functionality, um, so that that is nice. It's got you know built in sideburn beard trimmer thing, so that it's good. I mean, it works, but I think it could be improved on a little bit. Um, and then obviously now, you know, now, now that this is all cleaned up, you stick it back in and it's gonna tell you, okay, now it's charging and it wants to clean the unit. So, you know, the whole thing, the whole package as a, as a whole is, is fantastic. Um, 
once you get used to how to properly, you know, going from a rotating razor to what that now is a straight blade of how it, it works differently, adapting to how to make it work for you, it gives you a much better shave. Um, so, I mean, the whole package, the look, the feel, uh, the cleaning station, um, and the better shave, uh, it's always better than this guy. <laughs> Uh, so it depends on what, what, what the price point is that you want to spend on it. Uh, I mean, it is a very expensive razor. So, But uh, what I can say is that it does do a better shave uh, once you get down how to actually use it properly uh, as compared to, the, uh, to, to my old guy. So anyways, I hope that uh, these videos were useful to, to someone out there. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, send me a comment and I'll, I'll try to respond. Thank you.